Hey, Eugene B. Redmond. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's the Sloan yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, all over the place. Sloan and with Anthony. Well, I know you. You why are you running no, around Sloan? Sloan and with the king. I keep on saying the same thing all the time. We're in the age of Corona. You supposed to be quarantining or something? Is that? Am I right with that or am I wrong? Oh, you're right. I'm quarantining. I'm just, well, I'm, I got to uh, drive here to a place where I buy my papers and magazines. Oh, gosh. St. Louis County. Then, uh, so I drive over there. I have a mask. No. There's almost, there's almost never anyone there, but it's the sales rep. And I mean, okay. Uh, okay. Okay, so okay. Yeah, maybe another person come in. I'm but just. next door, <laughs> it interlocks. I'm just in a box with a store that sells edible. So the other side is okay, but usually I'm the only person in there. Okay, well, I I I just want to keep you safe, man. We need you around for a long time now. Hey, listen. Now, yesterday was the official launch date for the new uh, Henry Dumas volume, right? Uh, the knees, what was the Knees of a Natural Man? Is that the one, the poetry one? Is that the one that's supposed to be launched yesterday? Did it's that happen? Wanna, you saw it right this way. It's, gonna, it's just one of... Penn Oakland Award, the American Book Award from, from, you know, Penn, right? Sure, sure. Yeah, Penn, Oakland. So, so, and, uh, so there's an Oakland... One, it, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, uh -huh. So, so, so there's a, there's a, there was an Oakland chapter that gave him the award? Yeah, Oakland chapter of Penn. And it's, all, uh, it's the before Columbus Foundation. <laughs> okay. Before Columbus Foundation. Yeah, Columbus and the Oakland, California chapter of Penn. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah. so, so 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 not only is the book is the is the volume uh, officially launched, but it's also uh, it's been acknowledged already, no? It's acknowledged already. You know, this is actually the release date, October thirtieth. Right. So we're talking on the day that uh the uh, officially surfacing. Mm -hmm. You know, at uh a new uh, publishing phenomenon. Yeah, well, it is a phenomenon. Yeah. It, it is a phenomenon because you did something uh, different with this. I mean, because uh, you, as as a, as a actually, I, I, I don't know these big words, executor and stuff like that. You 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 the guy. You the man. You 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 you're the you're the motivating. You know, you you're the spark or whatever have you for this for a lot of stuff that Henry is that of Henry's works. Now this one is a little different. Now there is a difference here. What, what, what's what's the difference? I know the difference, but I want you to tell us what the difference is. Okay, there are several differences. One is that it's being published by uh, the smallest press, you know, uh, doing its uh, several iterations. That is, Dumas' poetry has mm -hmm. been published by the smallest press yet. Flood edition, and they're based in St. Louis and Chicago. Okay, so the, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So you said this. You it's, it's, it's the closest to home. Uh, you know where I'm actually physically situated than any other uh, of the publishers. Now the first. Publication of Dumas poetry and fiction was in 1970, and it was close to home. Southern Illinois University, Carbondale. The, the, we're that, looking about that was the four. Looking at uh, 75, 80 miles from me, south of me. That that was the uh, that was the publication for my people, the hardcover. Right. Right. Okay. For my people, right? No, no, yeah, for my people and Arthur Bone. Okay. And uh, as they, they went OP right away. You know OP? No. Oh, that's out of, out of print. Oh, okay, okay. So oh, yeah, yeah. They okay. published a thousand of each for my people and Arthur Bone and hardback only. Yeah, they're not, they're, 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 just like that. I got a note from the publisher saying, you know, with a copy of the note he got from somebody wanting to buy a whole bunch of them. And he said, we've been old people for about five months now. Yeah, well, and uh, you're welcome to 
go with it with your will. Well, well, the, with it with your will. well the four, the four, mm-hmm. my, uh, 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 just a second. The four, my people was the poetry and the Ark of Bones was a short story vo- volume, right? Right. Okay. Right. It was a companion uh, poetry for my people and Ark of Bones uh, short story. Okay. But and uh, Jay Wright wrote the foreword uh, to uh, the poetry, and uh, Amir Baraka wrote an intro. Now both 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 Jay and Wright. I wrote the intro to. Uh, I wrote the intro to. Um, the fiction. Right. The, the- uh, yeah. Let's go a little slow on this now. Now, both Jay Wright and and Amiri Baraka uh, were they're still they're part of the Black Arts Movement, no? Oh, of course, of course, yeah. yeah. Because I, I was just they, listening. Uh, 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 Baraka more uh, decidedly and dedicatedly, though he identified as a black poet. Jay. Uh, not so much, you know, not not so obviously. Different types of uh, men, different different approaches to the world. Jay was philosophical <clears throat> and worldly, whereas Duma was the same, philosophical, cosmological, and worldly, but his world consisted of the world of color, mm. uh, more pronouncedly, pronouncedly than did Jay Wright. Yeah, but uh, you you mentioned when you say uh, Duma, you you mentioned uh, 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 cosmological. I think that's the word you used. Is that the word you just used? Uh, I feel, well, I feel, yeah, philosophical and cosmological. Now, re- the reason why I, the reason why I say that because a lot of times when I'm looking at as, well, I know you could, the, the book is coming out next year. Maybe we'll talk about that a little bit too, that the short stories will come out again. But especially when I look at the short stories, I always I always think of uh, Duma as more of a, I don't want to say it this way because it's, you know, it's, it genres him, but uh, more of a science fiction writer for some strange reason. Say it again. But I, I, always think of, I, I always think of Duma as a more of a, Henry Duma as more of a science fiction writer, if you, if you get my drift. Okay, okay. Now, uh, you, you're breaking up. You're going through a tunnel or something like that. Oh, no, I lost him. Let me call you back and see what happens. Just getting into this. My goodness. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Call oh boy. Wrong one. Wrong one. Wrong number. Oh, there we go. Hey, I don't edit these things, so this is not going to be pretty. Oh. Book, book. I'll call him back later. <laughs> <laughs> 